um, this one is May June 2020 paper four variant one. We'll discuss the organic chemistry question from this paper. Normally the last question is from organic chemistry. So one part is there, as you can see in this one. When propane one on, which is an alcohol is heated with concentrated sulfuric acid as a catalyst, unsaturated hydrocarbon with a molecular mass of 42 is formed. And one other product is there. What is meant by unsaturated hydrocarbon? Unsaturated hydrocarbon means the hydrocarbon which contain carbon-carbon double bond or there's a double bond between the carbon atoms. So the hydrocarbon which contain carbon-carbon double bond We call that as unsaturated hydrocarbon. Write a chemical equation for this reaction. So if it is propane one all, basically it is opposite. If propane one all is there, what will be the formula of propane all? The general formula for alcohol is CN H2N plus one OH. This is the general formula for alcohol. So if it is prop, prop means three carbon, N is equals to three. So the, what is the formula of propanol? It will be C3, H3 multiplied by two, six plus one, seven. So C3H7, OH. So the formula for propanol is C3H7OH. And they mentioned when it is heated, it turn into unsaturated hydrocarbon. Unsaturated hydrocarbon means it become alkene. So what is the formula of alkene if it is propanol? The formula will be, uh, prop, it will produce propene. So the, what is the formula for propene? Prop means three carbons, so C3 and H6. Plus and other product, what other product will be there? It will have water molecules, so H2O. And name the unsaturated hydrocarbon. So what is unsaturated hydrocarbon? That is propene. So both ways it is possible like alcohol can produce alkene and steam or water or alkene plus steam will give us alcohol. This question five, ethanol manufactured by two different processes. For each process, name the organic reactant and state the type of reaction. So how we can prepare this alcohol or ethanol? One is by fermentation. Another one is by reaction of steam with ethene. So organic reactant in fermentation, you can mention fermentation first, or you can mention uh, the second reaction, addition reaction, Afterward, so the reactant here, if the type of a reaction I'm writing fermentation and the second reaction addition of a water is called hydration. So organic reactant for fermentation, we use a sugar or a glucose and organic reactant, we use ethene, ethene plus steam give ethanol and the fermentation of a sugar solution will also give ethanol. Alcohol can be oxidized to form carboxylic acid. Name a suitable oxidizing agent. You have to memorize this oxidizing agent always. The oxidizing agent to convert alcohol into carboxylic acid is acidified. Acidified means it contain acid. So acidified potassium Yes, you can write glucose there, sugar or a glucose. Acidified potassium manganate, seven. So this will always be an oxidizing agent which convert alcohol to carboxylic acid. 
then alcohols are partially oxidized to form aldehyde this, this is another type of a compound and aldehydes are homologous series of organic compounds you do, in o levels you don't have to learn specifically about aldehyde this is just an information they provide so partial oxidation is achieved by reacting alcohol with oxidizing agent in a distal distillation apparatus as you can see name the apparatus say what we call this apparatus say so this is called a condenser or we say lybic condenser on a diagram use uh, one arrow to show where the water enter so always the cold water enter from the bottom and it move through the jacket of a condenser and remove the heat energy from the vapors so always the arrow in inward air, in, inside the water will enter which is a coolant as use as a coolant and then that will take the energy from the vapors the table shows some information about aldehydes did you the journal formula of aldehyde so like different aldehydes are given we have to deduce the journal formula look if carbon is 1 hydrogen is 2 and oxygen is 1 if carbon is 2 hydrogen is 4 oxygen is 1 if carbon is 3 hydrogen is 6 oxygen is 1 so there is a pattern what is the pattern here that the number of the hydrogen are always twice as compared to number of carbon so if the number of carbon are n the number of hydrogen will be 2n and what about number of oxygen the number of oxygen is 1 for all of them so using different molecular formulas we generalize or we make a general formula like using a molecular formula we generalize that always the number of hydrogen are double as compared to number of carbon so we have to complete this complete this table completing a table was a first part but i was explaining the idea that's why i did not answer this first so two carbon ethanol three carbon propenal so one carbon one carbon means it should be meth and because it's an aldehyde so it is n al so methanol and butanol but means four carbon so it will be c4 how many hydrogen should be there number of hydrogen are twice so h8 and o so the formula of butanol will be c4 h8 only then this is name what is the name given to a reactive part of organic molecule the structure structure formula of aldehyde ethanol is given in organic chemistry the reactive part of a molecule is called a functional group for example when carbon carbon double bond is there so this is a reactive part we say the functional group is alkene if carbon attached with oxygen so the reactive part we call that as alcohol functional group is alcohol so the reactive part of a molecule is known as a functional group we have to complete a dot and cross diagram according to the figure so between carbon and hydrogen there is a single bond so hydrogen carbon single bond then here also single bond single bond between the two carbon atoms single bond so pair of electron between oxygen and carbon there is a double bond so there will be a double bond or two pairs and between carbon and hydrogen there will be a single bond then propenon propenon belongs to propenon belongs to a homologous series called a ketone ketones have a c double bonded with o aldehyde but aldehyde but the c double bonded with o is not at the end propenon has a same molecular formula as propenal name the term used to describe the molecule with a different structure but same molecular formula what we call we call them as isomers isomers have same molecular formula but different structure then suggest a structure of propenon so as i mentioned here like here it is propenal 
this is ethanol so propenone they mentioned c double bonded with o is not at the end so three carbon atoms are there because we want to draw the structure of propenone so prop means three carbon first we'll draw three carbon and they mention propenone belongs to a homologous series called a ketone and they have c double bonded with o same as aldehyde but that is not at the end so the c double bonded with o cannot be with the left hand carbon or cannot be with the right hand carbon it is always at the center for ketone and then we have to complete a structure so put hydrogen 1 2 and 3 hydrogen here and 1 2 and 3 hydrogen here so this will be the structure of propenone why it did not draw c double bonded with o at the last as they mention here in the information that the c double bonded with o which is present in a ketone cannot be at the end it is always at the center